Okay, hello, this is Josh and and Red217 is the camera dude. Uh, we're doing a review on the Panther Arms DPMS, I don't know what that means, uh, M4. It comes with everything here apart from the two magazines. This is from DivTap90. He had the spring version uh, of this, and it's really crappy. Um, let's start with the small stuff. It comes with a pistol, really crappy one, all plastic, not heavy at all. It's really... It's just not heavy. It's got two weights in it, but they're not. They don't make a difference. It has a 14-round magazine capacity. If you put it in, um, load one in the chamber, take it out, and put one more in, it'll be 15. Uh, it's this is a really crappy gun. The safety is down instead of up. Usually, on most guns, the safety is up. Right now, it's on safety. Now it's on fire. It's got rails. You can take them off. Comes with a flashlight. <laughs> um, it works. Where it's really bad batteries that will run out probably in like a week or two. Um, I've already broken this. It's like not high quality plastic at all. So I didn't get it for this. I don't even use. It. I've never used this actually. And to cock it, it's not hard. It's just not smooth. It's really rough. It's not a good. It's not greased up at all. It's got a fake ejection port right there, if you can see that. And you can zoom in and zoom out when you're recording on this, if you know. Fair enough. Okay. Um, that's it for that. And it's not loud at all. It has really low, um, low range and FPS. It says 200, but I think it's like in the hundreds. It's not high at all. There's tip tap. I need coming in. Okay. Don't talk. Okay. Um, like I said, it comes with only... Uh, one magazine, this is the one that comes with it. You open it like that to put the BBs in. When, I, when I'm not in a war, I use 12 grams. But when I'm in a war for a performance, and it's the highest performance, I use 50, er, 20 gram, not 50 gram. Um, the highest, it says the capacity is 300. Last night I was really bored and I counted. It's 377 rounds. Um, you just to get the BBs in the loading dock to go into the gun. You just twist this thing. It'll be easier on this. This the white thing right there. This one's empty. And when you take it out of it, it's still got BBs in it. it. What the heck? Oh yeah. A little 4 will fall out. As you just saw. For 12 grams because I'm not doing more right now. Um, One magazine. Don't get your hopes up. So that's that. Comes with a sling. This isn't the sling that comes with it. It's thinner and crappier. This is my best thing. I've had it for probably 3 years. The one that comes with it is, is adjustable. Just not good. Um, it comes with all these things here, and the magazine and everything, I just showed you, a uh, red dot sight, um, you screw it onto the gun with these things, knobs, whatever you want to call it, they're plastic, these ones aren't good, but everything else is, I think is metal, um, to sight it, this knob is left and right, to, to make the red dot dead on with, to where your BB hits, and then this is up and down right here. To turn it on, you just twist this. Uh, a cool thing, you can't, you probably can't tell if the red dot side is on, if it is right now. Now, do you see it? The red dot? Okay. And you can tell. It's really cool. So that, so your enemy can't tell if you're aiming at him or not. Even if the gun's pointing at him. This is the iron sight. And this is the front part of the iron sight right there. You can see, you can see it. <coughs> um, to screw down again, these knobs right here. These ones... Um, the inside grip part for them is metal. Um, to adjust, this is for close range, and this is for long range. I always keep it on that, so I'm as accurate as possible. To sight this, this is left and right. This isn't how you flip that. That's the wrong way. That This is how you sight it to go left and right. This you twist to go up or down. Uh, to sight it where the bead will hit. Now for the gun. Wait, I rate the foregrip. The foregrip. You take off. I don't do it like that. I'm just showing you. You won't break it if you do that. It just goes right back in. It's pla It's this is all plastic. It's really good though. Cause it's not like the normal circle one. It's um got finger grips for you, so it's a really nice feel to it. It's got sling mounts. This sling, as I've already showed you. Um, the safe is right. Safety right there. Semi. Auto. It's got a good rate of fire. Uh, not too high, not too low. I like, 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 the, like the real thing. This is where you put the battery. Oh yeah, wait. It's got an orange cap to comply with thermal loss.
And this is where you put the battery in the butt. And don't panic that you think the battery broke. I put it there so it wouldn't break. That's how most batteries break. These copper wire gets cut. I put it there so it wouldn't. That's electrical, yeah, electrical tape. Uh, you hook it up like that. It's got a little hook thing on it. Right there. I have it upside down. Put it like that. It's not hard to get it to get all, all the wires situated in there. So if it comes with a charger, this 1500 volt uh, battery, you hook it up like that and then. Wait. Wait a second. There we go. And then you plug it into the wall. No, it's charging. <laughs> not really. Okay, um. <coughs> So, you put it in the butt right there. Um, hook it up. And get the batter, you get the wires so they're not in the way you when you put the cover on. Now, in wars, when I was running like this, I was running with the butt and stuff or whatever, up against my shoulder. And this would fall off and then the battery would fall out and I lost it, but I found it. Well, actually, you two found it. The 1019 Drive 217 found it in the field. Um, uh, so I put duct tape there that night. This isn't the sticky side. This is the unsticky side. I just put it there to create friction and a tighter um, grip to it. Or so now listen. Normally, if you don't have duct tape, you'll hear it snap when you go on. But see, it didn't snap that loud just because it's got a lot of friction going on and it goes slow. Now I'll show you how I have it. When I'm using it, I don't use it with those accessories apart from the foregrip. Actually, I've got to put the foregrip on first. This is homemade sound, sir. Now, I've got an olive drab color one. If you don't know what that means, it's a different shade of green. I'm trying to think of a handy thing that shows like it. No, I don't. Not around here. Okay. Well, actually, it's a little bit darker. Well, actually, darker, a lot darker than the green BBs in there. Okay, and then I'm the my team sniper. The combat sniper. Um, I don't stay far away. I stay with the whole group of people. And sometimes I stay far away. Sometimes I stay far away. It's a really good one. We've got a good matchup. Um, now, gotta see something. It weighs not a lot with that. Probably not even five pounds. Probably three and a half. Because most of the stuff over there is plastic. This, most of the stuff I'm putting on right now is metal. Can I get that on? All this stuff doesn't come with it apart from the foregrip. Really? Who's that? Oh, my Probably sister. Probably Yeah. Wait, I gotta put this on. Okay. Hey, is it screwing on or off? I can't tell. Oh, it's going on. On. Okay, good. I probably put it there. No, I didn't. Okay. And then I'll also have the sling on. This is how I have it. It's like probably six, six to seven, I think. Would you think that? Um, six, seven. It's, it's got a great weight to it. Yeah, um, it feels like it's real. Yeah, it does. That's what I like about it. Oh, yeah. Before I forget. That's a song. <laughs> okay. To, this is the ejection port. You're going to pull this. Right. You're going to pull all the way back. I just can't do it because the scope's there. It'll come out. Like that, and then the hop up is revealed. You can mess around with the gears to do it where you want to get it to where you want to hit it. I don't like to mess with that because I think it loads the gun. Um, it's pretty much it. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, I think I forgot the magazine release. Okay, the magazine release is right there. Take out the magazine. Don't think it's broken if when you press it now on this side that pops out right there. That's how it's supposed to happen. Yeah. That's kind of like the thing that keeps it in. At least, at least in real life, that's what it would be. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's it for Talk my about review. Different noise. Yeah. Sensor. No, I didn't. But well, that's my review.